So I get a lot of questions about Instagram. You know, should I have an Instagram for my business? You know, what should I post on Instagram? How can I become super, super popular on Instagram? Well, unless you have a shredded six pack and you post pictures shirtless on your job site, or you do makeup tutorials on your job site, you're probably not gonna be Instagram famous. And that's okay. So if your goal is becoming an influencer on social media or getting a million likes and a million follows on social media, that's kind of a full-time job in of itself. And you're not gonna be able to do that and run a successful remodeling business. But if you want an Instagram and you wanna post on Instagram, here are some tips for you. One, you have to post a picture or a video. Please don't let it be grainy. That, I hate that. It sucks. It looks terrible. No one's gonna like it. You look like a scam. You want them to look good. You want them to be aesthetically pleasing. Instagram is all about visuals. Make sure your videos are high quality. Make sure they get straight to the point. Make sure your captions aren't too long. Put hashtags in there. Don't put too many and put them at the end of your caption, not in your caption if you want it to be more readable. Make sure to engage with your followers. The algorithm for Instagram really likes it when you engage with your followers versus not engaging with your followers. So respond back to their comments, like their comments, post on your story, even if it's just a work in progress picture, that's content and it's showing Instagram that you're active. Now you can connect your Facebook page and your Instagram account. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but you should be able to do that. And sometimes when you upload a picture on Instagram, it will automatically share it as a Facebook post as well. And that way you're hitting two birds with one stone. So I always recommend doing that if you can. So those are some Instagram tips. If you have anything specific, I'm more than happy to help. And uh, if you don't like Instagram or don't have Instagram, then you don't have to worry about this video. So be patient, try some new things, figure out kind of what's gonna land on Instagram versus what's gonna land on Facebook because they're not gonna be identical. Know that your target audience on each are different and you're kind of gonna have to change your content sometimes to be able to cater to both or to vary between posts uh, to cater to whichever target audience you're trying to touch. Not touch, uh, reach out to whichever target audience whichever target audience you're trying to reach out to.